Hey everybody, it's Kendra. So welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you've been here before. Okay, it is the end of February, but no, my video today is not February favorites because I'm going on like six months of not buying products and I just feel like I'm using the same thing over and over and over and these are products I've talked about so many times so I don't really have like good February favorites, I guess you could say. I do have a few things that are like my favorites but I'm like blah, whatever. I'm gonna just do a February slash March favorites the end of next month because um, maybe by then I'll have like a few other things and I can actually make like a decent favorites video. So today, instead, I'm going to be doing like a travel makeup beauty thing um, because I'm actually going to Las Vegas today. So technically today is Thursday when I'm filming this, but this is going to go up on Saturday. So really today. Um, anyway, so I will be in Vegas for uh, uh, from Saturday to Monday. Um, my husband and I are going, we are going to be models for a wedding photography workshop. There's apparently this like huge worldwide photography conference for wedding photographers in Las Vegas. Like, I don't know, this whole like coming week. Um, so anyway, I know a girl who works at a film lab and their film lab is sponsoring a wedding photography workshop. Um, so she asked me if I would go and she thinks my husband's super hot and he's just adorable. So we're like, sure, let's go, let's go to Vegas. So yeah, we are going to Vegas this weekend. I have never been there. My husband was there, I think once um, when he was 15, but you can't really enjoy Vegas when you're 15. So we're basically like Vegas virgins. So yeah, we are going. Um, I don't have any idea what we're doing. If you guys have suggestions, um, yeah, please post them on this because we'll be there this weekend. Um, so yeah, no idea. Sunday will be pretty busy with like this wedding photography thing. Um, but like Saturday and Monday, we like have tons of free time. So yeah, anyway, so my video today, um, blah, 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 Kendra. Um, my video today is basically what I'm taking, like beauty stuff, hair stuff, makeup stuff. I've done like a travel beauty bag before and what's in my like cosmetic kit Blah, blah, blah. I know I did this one like we first came to San Francisco like for a week back in August. Um, but anyway, I wanted to do it again. I've got like a few different things now. I think it's just going to be super, super fun. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go through this kind of fast because I have a lot of stuff. Before I did like just beauty stuff or just makeup, but now it's just kind of like everything. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, so skin stuff. So basically, I like to have a cleanser, a balm cleanser, and an exfoliator. So I just like put stuff in little pots. This one has the Alpha 8 Triple Action Cleanser, so I use that one in the morning. This little guy has um, Alpha 8 Micro Cleanse. This little container is from Daiso. This little guy is Makeup Forever. And then this is just an old Omar Avixa, um bomb container, so I put the Emma Hardy Balm in that one. Um, and then for a toner, I have this little travel Omar Avixa Queen of Hungary Mist. Um, this is so nice. I just love the way this stuff smells. Oh, it's so lovely and so refreshing. So, so nice. Um, and this is almost up, so I might actually run out of that while I'm in Vegas, which would be perfect. Um, okay, let's see, night stuff. So I have an Omar Vixa Rejuvenating Night Cream. This one probably will run out while I'm in Vegas. This has just a teeny, teeny amount left. Um, so I'm also taking this little sample with. This is the Innisfree Ecoscience Deep Cream. This, I have the big one of this, and it's so, so nice. So I was really happy I had a sample guide of that one. Um, I also cannot leave behind my Alpha H Liquid Gold for a nighttime. Um, so I'm taking the Alpha H Liquid Gold Radiance because it is a 30 ml container, so it's much smaller than the normal Liquid Gold. Um, so yeah, really love that one. Um, day cream, I'm just taking the Aven Intense Optimal SPF 20. Um, I really want to take one that doesn't, have, <laughs> that doesn't have SPF. I might take a tube of Ombre Release. Just because when I'm getting my makeup done, I don't like to have SPF underneath makeup um, because it like flashes back and it's not very pretty. Um, so yeah, I'll probably take an Ombre Elise with as well. Okay, moving on. Um, also taking the Bioderma Kraline Water, just a little baby one of those guys, um, just you know, as a makeup remover. Okay, other skin stuff. Um, I'm taking a sheet mask by Innisfree. This is their It's Real Aloe Mask. Um, and then I'm also taking this product. I've never tried this. This is by SK2 and this is their signs eye mask. I thought this might be nice, you know, like to put on in the morning, Sunday morning, before I get my makeup and hair done for this photo shoot. So my eyes will be like all oh, fresh and beautiful and radiant, blah, blah, blah. My next product I'm so excited about. I think this is just genius. So I'm obsessed with Manuka Honey. I know I talked about this in my favorites video last month. I am obsessed with this stuff. Like everybody I talk to, anybody who's into beauty, I'm like, oh my God, have you used Manuka Honey on your face? I'm a freak about Manuka Honey. Um, I'm gonna talk about like my skincare routine next week, so I'll be like prattling on and on about Manuka Honey in that one. 
But okay, like I can't take a whole big tub of honey with to Vegas, but I still want to be doing my like nightly honey masks. So I found these. These are like little travel packs of my Manuka honey. So this is the same one I actually use, this Wetter Spoon brand. Um, so yeah, this is our 16 plus active Manuka honey. And it's just kind of like, I think it's maybe a teaspoon. It's either a teaspoon or a tablespoon of honey. I don't know. But this is like the perfect amount um, for a nightly mask. So I've got four of these guys ready to go. Okay, so that's all face stuff. Let's move into body stuff. Um, I am taking some of my body scrub. Um, I love, I always use this stuff before a photo shoot just because the oil just like gets in your skin and it just makes your skin glow. Um, so yeah, really, really love this stuff for photo shoots. Plus like I really don't want to take... A bottle of lotion with so if I just use this after I shower I don't need to apply lotion so I'll probably just use this every time I shower so I don't have to put lotion on okay and then for like soap body wash this is just like a little sample um, soap guy we get my husband gets his soap from the farmers market actually um, if you're in Northern California there's a fabulous farmers market in San Mateo I talked about this during a get ready with me um, but anyway there's a soap guy there so my husband always gets his soap and we always buy a lot of soap from him so sometimes he gives us samples so I thought that's perfect that is like what we will take whenever we take these random little trips um what else other body stuff a razor woo woo exciting um deodorant this is not a mini one this is the toms of maine natural dry i originally thought this did not have aluminum in it but it does um, toothpaste so exciting right this is sensodyne just a sample from my dentist a little mini floss um, this is exciting. These are little individually wrapped Q-tips. Um, I did my little Daiso swap with Lindsay. Thank you, Lindsay. I'm taking your Q-tips with. Lindsay sent me these Q-tips. Um, yeah, we're weirdos and we send each other Q-tips. I sent her black Q-tips and she sent me individually wrapped ones. Um, but that's what you do when you're just awesome and cool like that like us um, this I totally totally need I cannot live without these um, eye drops the, these are called Theratears. I just bought these. I actually just went to the eye doctor a week ago and she said that my eyes, like the inner parts of my eyes are sort of like discolored. Like they're like a tiny, tiny bit yellow. If I like turn like this, I can sort of see like the inner corners. Um, but she said that's from like exposure to the sun, which is strange because I always wear sunglasses um, and because my eyes are dry. So she really recommended like these specific eye drops to help with that. And friends, I will be getting glasses very soon. I did have a slight, you know, adjustment I needed for my eyes. So I have some super cute, like sexy librarian glasses coming hopefully next week. I hope my next long video I can wear my like super cool glasses. They're so, so cute. I can't wait for them to come. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to see. I can totally see, but everything is just like... When she put the little like tester glasses on, I'm like, whoa, this is made, this makes a difference. Like I feel like my eyes are really, really straining um, without glasses. I can see fine, I can drive fine, all that stuff, but it's nicer with glasses. Anyway, um, okay, hair stuff. So I am taking with the Orbe Signature Shampoo and Signature Conditioner. I've only tried like a tiny sample of these, um, but they're pretty nice. So taking that with for shampoo and conditioner. And then I have a sample of this Living Proof Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. This, um, the jury is still out on this. I haven't decided how I feel. Sometimes I do feel like it makes my hair feel kind of greasy. Um, but I do like to put something in my hair. I think I'm going to focus just more on like the ends, not the roots. Because I think that's why it's kind of being, being a bit greasy when I use that stuff. Um, but yeah, I like to put some sort of treatment in my hair while it's wet and then blow dry it. And then of course, I will be taking a sample size of the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. Cannot live without this. It is amazing. Love, love, love that stuff. Okay, and then finally, makeup. So, you know, Sunday, basically, I won't need to do my own makeup. Um, I'm like, we're starting hair and makeup at like 8.45 a.m. And I think we're leaving for our location at like noon and then the photo shoot's like two to four. 5, 5.30 and then we're gonna get back at like 7. So I won't really need to do my makeup on Sunday unless I want to do it when we get back if we're going out for dinner. I don't know. Um, so I don't need to take a lot of makeup with but I do want to have the basics um, and I'm taking stuff that can sort of like multitask. Um, yeah, kind of. But I probably won't multitask anyway. I'll probably just, you know, 
take products that and like use them the way I'm supposed to use them. That doesn't make sense. Whatever. Okay. Foundation. I am taking the Ilamasca Skin Base in 5.5. Um, really like this stuff. You can make it thick. Like you can make it really heavy or you can make it really, really light, which is what I like. Um, also, you know, I go back and forth between this and the Bourjois Healthy Mix, but right now with the Bourjois Healthy Mix, I'm sort of in between two shades and I don't want to take two bottles. This one, 5.5, is pretty much perfect for me, so that's why I'm taking that one. Um, along with the reason that it's just a wonderful foundation and you can share it out. Uh, concealer, NARS Cream Concealer and Custard. Bien sûr, of course, that is my all-time concealer. Um, powder, I am taking this Maquillage Powder. This is their Perfect Finish Loose Powder. Um, I really, like, I haven't played with this that much, but the container is just so much smaller than the NARS. Um, and I just want, you know, some kind of loose powder. I do have the NARS pressed version of their beautiful powder, but I hate the pressed version, and I just would prefer to, like, be risky, be dangerous, and take a loose powder. Anyway, um, blush, I'm taking this Maquillage Blush. This is the color Fresh Plum. This actually, if I was doing a favorites video this month, this would totally be in it. I really love this blush. It's just so lovely. It's what I'm wearing today. Basically, all the makeup I'm talking about today is what I have on my face um, because I wanted to go through and be like, okay, can I create like one really cool, nice look for Vegas with just like a few products? Anyway, so that's my blush I'm taking. Um, I am taking the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow Palette um, for my highlight and contour. I might use this as eyeshadow. I can, yeah, I can definitely use both of these as eyeshadow. The contour color can go in the crease very nicely, and then the shimmer color can go um, just as like like a shimmer. Um, but I'm also gonna take this. This is Stila's Kitten. This is what I have on my lids today. It's just so lovely. It gives like. It's just more punchy. There's more uh, to it than um, than if I just use the highlight from the Charlotte Tilbury palette. So really, really like that. Um, mascara. This is a sample. I've never actually used this, but I'm gonna try it. Whatever. Um, this is the Marc Jacobs Omega O oh, exclamation Mega mascara. So we'll see that. Um, we'll see how that works. Hopefully good. Um, my like normal mascaras are sort of drying out, so I'm just like, all right, let's just. You know, let's go crazy in Vegas. That's what Vegas is for, right? So let's just go crazy. Um, eyeliner, I am taking the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal. Rock, Rock, Rock and Coal. I think this is called Bedroom Black, I think. Um, really, really good um, black liner. Very waterproof. I use this on my upper waterline. Really, really like that. And then for lip products, I am taking what is on my lips. This is the Maquillage Lip Color Pen in Clear Red. Love this stuff. Really like this. Um, you can totally build this, and I like to put a layer on, blot it, put another layer on, blot it, put another layer on. I do that if I want it to be kind of dewy, um, but if I want it to be matte, I just blot it a couple times, and then put, you know, like, hold the tissue, and then that's like so badly. I'm like such not a professional YouTuber because my videos like, I go like this well. Um, but if I want it to be matte, I'll just take a tissue and then put um, some translucent powder on a brush and just kind of like go over it and that will get through the tissue and mattify my lips. So there we go. That was a really long spiel. Um, I'm also taking this Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet. This is an Ole Flamingo in case I want a really bright, sexy pink. And then I'm also taking Charlotte Tilbury's Bitch Perfect because this is like the perfect neutral lip color. Um, it's not a nude. It's like a pinky brownie nude, but it's beautiful and I love it. And it is totally like my favorite lipstick in the world. That's like for when I'm feeling super lazy and don't want to worry about having a perfect lip. Um, anyway, so that's it for makeup. I'm also taking the um, this pencil sharpener from Maquillage. This is great because it has the small and the big one. So, you know, I am taking two different size pencils. So I've got the Charlotte Tilbury one that'll fit in the small one. And I've got the Maquillage big one that'll fit in the big one. That's perfect. And then for perfume, I am taking this little sample by Diptyque. This is Low de Low. Um, this one... I just like sprayed this on to make sure it didn't stink. It's nice. This isn't one I normally wear. I have a lot of Diptyque perfumes like in big bottles, um, but I don't actually have that one. It's kind of like musky. It's sort of like a musky, spicy, yet kind of florally scent. 
it's lovely. There you go. That is what I'm taking to Vegas. Hopefully I'm not forgetting anything very, very important. I don't think so. Um, I have not figured out what I'm going to take in my carry-on and what I'm going to be packing. Um, I'll probably keep out, you know, the most important stuff to me is always the skincare stuff. I can, you know, if my shampoo gets lost, well, I don't want my Orbe stuff lost because that stuff's kind of expensive. Um, I would be really sad if my Orbe got lost. Um, but usually, yeah, like my skincare stuff is the most important stuff because I can like survive off of like, you know, hotel body products and hair products, but like skin stuff, my skin is very picky. So I'll definitely have my honey and like my Alpha H stuff in the plane with me in my little Ziploc bag. Um, anyway, hope you guys found that interesting. Um, if you have any recommendations for Vegas, I know like this video is going up, but I'll, like I fly out of San Francisco Saturday morning. So if you have any suggestions like this weekend, please, please, please comment below and let me know. Um, I have no idea what to do. I haven't had time to really research it. I don't know how much time we're actually gonna have while we're there. Um, but yeah, if there's anything awesome you think we should do, let me know. I actually, I think Britney Spears does her concerts in Vegas like every Saturday. And I was kind of thinking about getting tickets to go see her. Cause I think that'd be fun. I've never really, I've never seen Britney Spears. I've never seen any of those like teen pop stars, like people who were pop, like big and pop when I was a teenager. Um, so yeah, I'll check. Actually, I'll check. That could be kind of fun. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are doing great. Have a fabulous weekend. I will probably be posting stuff on Instagram about my, our little like trip to Vegas and from this wedding workshop and everything. Um, so yeah, be sure to check that out. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.